Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 14 in chapter 27. Chapter 27 is about magnetism. So there we can see we have an electron. So electron carry negative charge. So the charge Q equal to negative E, right? E is a unit uh, electron, unit charge. So we write it there. And then it's projected vertically upward. So the velocity is upward in k direction, right? And this V number, we write it there. And then in a uniform magnetic field, as B. And this B is directly horizontal, <coughs> uniform, it's in two, right? So keyword, in two. So that means the B is in the negative I direction, negative I direction, agree? Okay, because in two. Now, uh, describe the electrons pass in this field. So how can we do that? We can see, if the e electrons move in the magnetic field, will bring the Lorentz force, agree? This is a QV cross B, right? So we input given quantities. This V is a v, v, v P, and B is a negative B I direction, and this Q is a negative E. So now we solve it. We can get the force is E V B J, E V B J, and then this J is a direction, right? It's a the direction pointing to this uh, direction. This is a force. Now we change the kind. How it move? How the electron moves? It moves upward. So you can see in this case, the object. The velocity and the force is perpendicular with an angle 90 degree. Of course, this is the circular motion, right? So the magnetic force will become the central force, but will make the electrons move to do the circular motion. Agree? Yes. And then this central force is just the Lorentz force EVB equal to m times v squared divided by r. Then we can get the function for r, input all the given quantities, we get the answer there. Thank you.